Hey, what's up, man? This is Frank, man. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy and sell a stock because of anything that I say in this video. Also, you know, we got the proposals coming up, man, in the product like 30 days. Don't vote yes or no to those proposals based on anything that I say in this video also. Look, I got to say this to Adam Aaron, and I got to say this to <clears throat> the retail investors that blindly follow him. I got to let y'all know, man, that y'all are coming off as some parasites and bloodsuckers. You know, parasites and bloodsuckers, man, they normally just feed off of something until they just suck the life out of it until it's no longer living. See what I'm saying? Y'all coming off, man, as parasites and bloodsuckers. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all trying to paint the narrative that AMC is in the condition that it's in and it's not being as successful as it can be because retail investors are not supporting the company enough. That we're not buying enough products and we're not buying enough merchandise. So we're the reason why AMC is in the condition that it's in, but you ain't saying nothing about Adam Aaron, his decision making and his managerial skill skills. You see what I'm saying? And I and I, I'm sim I'm simply saying that the company, you saying that we're responsible, that retail in investors is responsible for the company not being financially su successful. I'm saying that's a bunch of BS. You see what I'm saying? See, man, retail, to be honest with you, AMC retail investors in the apes have supported AMC in a way that no other investors have supported a company. We bought the hell out of AMC shares. Ain't nobody really did it like that, man, for no other company. You see what I'm saying? But here's the pro here's the here's the issue. Retail investors is not here to be a cash cow for the one percenters, for Adam Aaron, AMC, or AMC board. That's not what we're here for. You see what I'm saying? And see, I know, you know, I know by now, man, a lot of people, they watch that video that Adam Aaron just did in, in one of the theaters, and he was he he explained um he was explaining to some of the retail investors why we should vote yes for the proposal that's coming up. You see what I'm saying? So later on in the video, you gonna be that the video ain't gonna be that long. I'm gonna tell you, man, how my subscribers, how the majority of them, practically all of them, how they felt what they felt about what Adam Aaron was saying. But see, first let me say this, man. I know it's difficult for Adam Aaron to deal with millions of apes. You know, millions of AMC retail invest, especially a man of his type of stature. See what I'm saying? I know it's difficult for him, for us to have all the voting powers that we have. You see what I'm saying? But see, the trade-off for that is that the trade-off, you know, for him dealing with all this stress is that one man, we made AMC probably made the most popular stock in the stock market. You see what I'm saying? One of the most talked about stocks, whether people like it or whether they hate it. We saved the company from going bankrupt. Bankrupt. Not these, dis yeah, he got some help, but these distressed man credit investors and these institutions that he's working with, you know, against that he's working with and they're against us right now. Those institutions didn't save AMC. The retail investors saved AMC. You see what I'm saying? So now it seemed like, man, Adam Aaron, it seemed like, man, he's kind of pissed off because, you know, we didn't help him raise the money in the summer of 2021 that he wanted to raise, you know, because I guess he wanted to use that money, you know, to pay off more debt. He said he wanted to use it, you know, to, um, to get rid of the short sellers. Like I said in the video yesterday, there's no guarantee just because, I, first of all, I don't even know if he would have paid off all the debt. Second of all, we're dealing with criminal short sellers just because, man, he would have paid off a lot of the debt or even come become debt free. 
it don't ne necessarily mean that these criminal short sellers wouldn't have still been tampering with the stock. You see what I'm saying? Because nobody's stopping them from doing what they're what they doing. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is, you know, I just think, man, he need to understand that, you know, it's consequences, man, from you just, from Adam Aaron just saying, well, you know what, man, forget them. I'm going to kill their short squeeze play. I'm going to take 90% of their shares just because they didn't vote for what I wanted them to vote for in 2021. And I feel like that's what he's doing. I'm just going to say, man, there's consequences from that. You see what I'm saying? It's always, man, consequences from being vindictive. And I just leave that alone. I, I, let, I let that lay right there. You see what I'm saying? And, and if you ask me, AMC is in the condition that it's in. It's not because of the apes and it's not because of the retail investors. You know, one of the reasons is, I think, is Adam Adams Adam Aaron's managerial style, how he managed along with his relationship with the one percenters and the institutions. You see what I'm saying? I think another reason is it seemed like he lacks the ability to be able to raise money and put AMC, AMC in the financial situation that it needs to be in because the, it seemed like the only thing that he knows how to do is dilute the stock and financially abuse his shareholders. That's a problem. You see what I'm saying? Furthermore, this is a big problem. Adam Aaron May has failed to do anything about the illegal naked shorting and the criminal activity that's taking place in the stock. You see what I'm saying? Which has called, you know, which has caused retail investors to lose man, probably man, billions of dollars. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and my thing is, you know, I look at it like this. AMC, man, is worldwide. You see what I'm saying? I think they got over 900 theaters. Probably more than that. See what I'm saying? It's 8 billion people on the planet. So my thing is, Adam Aaron need to learn how to tap into, to enhance or, or expand his customer base and improve what he has to offer to make people man want it. You see what I'm saying? He need to tap into those 8 billion people. It's, it, no, you can't just sit back and if you need to make money in the company and you want the company to be to the company to be financially successful, you can't just man bleed out your shareholders ex or exploit your shareholders just to make money. You worldwide. It's a billion people on the planet. So tap into it. And see, here's what you no, know, as far as like I was saying, as far as my subscribers. Here's what a lot of them had to say about him saying that he wanted a yes vote. And they all said they voted no. They said for one thing, man, they said that retail investors are not here to be a debt resolution machine for Adam Aaron and AMC. They said that they don't trust Adam Aaron. They said that it's not the shareholders' responsibility to pay off all the AMC debt. You see what I'm saying? They say they feel like they say they feel like Adam Aaron is using retail investors as a scapegoat. You see what I'm saying? And they said that um, you know, he's the reason why retail investors have lost billions of dollars. And the and and they also said that, you know, that retail investors over the past two years, a lot of the money man that we put into the stock has went to criminal hedge funds because Adam Aaron didn't do anything to stop these criminals or do anything about the illegal naked short. That money could have been using, could have been used toward making AMC a more profitable company. Could have improved their finances. But hedge funds got a lot of the money that we put into the stock. You see what I'm saying? And finally, man, like I said, this guy right here, he said, man, we're not a cash cow for AMC. And, and this was a big one. 
They said that Adam Aaron, his decision making is bad. They said that Adam Aaron had a chance to make a lot of money with eight, you know, to pay off a lot of debt. And he screwed that up. You see what I'm saying? So, man, me, me, man, I'm going to close with this. If Adam Vindictiveness, like I said, if Adam Aaron make a decision to take 90% of our shares and he make a decision to assist in killing our short squeeze play and our Moaz because he know exactly what he's doing. He know what we want. So if he make a decision, man, to take our shares and to kill the Moaz, I'm just going to say, man, say that will be another bad decision that he that he's making on top of all the other bad decisions that he's made. And it's going to be a decision, man, that painfully affect AMC in the future. Watch. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.